Thank you very much for your time uh, back in the news review segment. The Daily Graphic says, President Akufuado to champion AU financial institutions. Barclays Bank, Ghana now, APSA. 2020 National Science Maths Quiz in danger. Schools complain of inadequate funds, so they can't prepare. Asphalt overlay of Aguna Street Road Town Roads begin. And Ghana earns $378 million from raw cashew nuts exports. The Ghanaian Times this morning busted. Customs Division intercepts 1,964 slabs of wee in Pound's vehicle arrest driver. Murder case, crime scene set ablaze. Martin Amidu, don't politicize Airbus saga. At the Assembly of Heads of State Government, President crowned champion of AU financial institutions. Barclays Bank now named APSA Bank, Ghana Limited. The Finder newspaper, government clears all BDC's legacy debts. Dr. Baumia comments APSA Bank's Support to Ghana. Trade Ministry to hand over GCNet West Blue Skies uh, system to Unipass. Ghana card, 8.5 million registered. On the back page, well, nothing really is happening on the back page. Uh, only the f back page of the Ghanaian Times. Maritime experts from Africa brainstorm in a crime. Ghana National Fire Service collaborating with national security to trunk a trace prank callers. We're told over 200 Prank calls have already been made to the um, uh, emergency number 112. BNFT, APSA Bank launches with commitment to support economic growth. It comes with a beautiful picture of Mrs. Abena Ose, Puku, Managing Director of APSA Bank Ghana. Total taxpayers to jump to 16 million by year end. Go corporate governance directives bearing fruits, according to the governor of the Bank of Ghana, because the bank's board members, CEOs, retire and uh, board executives undergoing training. Okay. The Daily Guide. Coup plotters filed for bail again. Barclays, Ghana now, APSA Bank. Who is government official one? Brother in Airbus scandal. I thought the mother was under investigation. Well, uh, issues are still coming up. Major healthcare option launched. And on the back page, two police interdicted for celebrating Kotoko win. Oh, my God. Uh, Jan, Shata to grace seven great games. Old students there. Yaya is NASCO player of the month. And Ali begs for Chinese Ebola video. Pele doesn't want to go out. My guest this morning is the Honorable Hassan Suhini. He's a member of parliament for the Tamale North constituency. He's in a race one more time, hopefully, to win it. We don't have a rep from the NPP. When we do, we'll give him or her a chair and hear his or her own thoughts. Alaji, welcome. Good morning. Assalamu. Wa alaikum salam. Good morning. Thanks Good for morning. The How are the grounds? Alhamdulillah, it's going well. Are you sure? Ah, uh, well. I'm told you have stiff competition. <laughs> <laughs> you have not been correctly briefed. <laughs> I thank the people of the Tamale North constituency mm. for the confidence reposed in me and their continuous support that uh, I continue to enjoy mm. from them. Mm. Uh, like my hashtag always says, we do this together. Possible okay. together. Okay. So I've not been properly briefed. We'll see. 2027 <laughs> December will determine. But the president is set, uh, the vice president actually set to uh, address the state on a town hall meeting on the achievements of the MPP's uh, administration today in the Ashanti region. The achievements already, as, as we've, we've been told over and over again, will be consolidated today and will be given a comprehensive list of what it is. What are your own expectations of the town hall meeting today? Well, thank you very much. Let me say good morning to our viewers, uh, especially the good people of the Tamale North constituency once again. Um, I, I, I am not very hopeful. And Why not? I'm sure that you can also tell from the atmosphere that is greeting the announcement of mm. uh, his address later today. Uh, if you compare it to what used to be the case when mm. he was in opposition, mm. um, I'm sure many, uh, you will come to no other conclusion than the fact that uh, people now know better mm. and they uh, believe that uh, talk is cheap mm -hmm. and I don't think that he was, uh, uh, the expectation was that he will be a talking vice president but one that will be working to make lives better mm -hmm. and over the years uh, I don't know what is left for him again to tell Ghanaians about his performance. Really? I recall in opposition those days, he and his um, party folks mm -hmm. um, chastised the NDC for, you know, uh, daring to even 
put its achievements together either in, in the form of fairs or in the mm. form of the green book mm. and the refrain at the time was that if our achievements were that compelling uh, we wouldn't need uh, mm. such fora to uh, talk about them and that the people themselves will feel it and testify mm -hmm. to how compelling our achievements are. Mm -hmm. I wonder what has changed. Mm -hmm. The only thing I see which seems to have changed is the fact that uh, these are people who are consistently inconsistent. Mm -hmm. uh, so don't be surprised that um, on the promise to ensure that uh, no village mm -hmm. or community mm -hmm. had problem with water and toilet in the first uh, uh, two years okay. of the NPP will be uh, rationalized in very uh, jovial ways. Uh, don't also be surprised that you will be uh, given a different meaning of if, if the fundamentals are weak, mm. uh, the exchange rate will expose you. Don't also be surprised about the uh, fact that uh, you will be told that uh, every government needs to borrow mm. and 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 uh, you know it is as a result of the bor borrowing that the economy will do better mm. even though uh, we were told uh, in those days that it was a lazy way of running an economy mm. so really so for you nothing has been done and, and don't be surprised about the shifting positions on mm. corruption for mm. example missing excavators um, you know, the government says they are committed. <laughs> so th this peculiar situation, as Kojo Ponkrumah says, mm. a peculiar situation in the mm. fight against Galamse, mm. the excavators and all of that, mm. should not necessarily mean that the whole fight mm. has failed. Well, but it's not mm. about just excavators. It's also about the Gapoha. It's also about the boss. It's also mm. about the National Youth Authority. It's mm. about the National Lottery or Lotteries Authority. It's even about the presidency mm. and 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 the matters that have arisen. It's not just excavators mm. which uh, you know uh, or the moto kings which are the only you know corrupt cases that this government have had to deal with they are numerous and they are everywhere in almost every sector in the energy sector there are married the car deals they are everywhere you know so it is not just the issue of excavators and even with the issue of excavators it is that embarrassing that you know even as they they compete you know with 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 how embarrassing they attempt to mm -hmm. put the blame on each other they still think that people are that daft to think that mm -hmm. it is a peculiar matter that does not deserve the attention that people are giving it uh, and 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 so for me uh, it's just going to be uh, another uh, jocular platform mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. vice president to engage in the antics that he is well noted for <laughs> Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> Send us your thoughts and comments. Zero two zero two one six 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 three three. So he says it's just going to be another uh, jocular platform. But the MPP, as I know, are very hopeful. And yesterday, monitoring the media platforms, they're very hopeful that they were going to tell you about free SHS, one district, one factory, one village, one dam, planting for food and jobs. NAPCO, they were going to tell you about NY, uh, EIP, John Kuma's South Free, they were going to tell you about Ministry for Special Development Initiative, the ambulances, they were going to tell you about uh, adding on to the numbers for nurses, teachers, doctors, and so many others, the banking sector cleanup, uh, the fact that now we have a, an economy stabilized, the Moody's rating, um, the CD performing relatively well, as we're told, as, as the best performing currency by the close of uh, the year and all of that. So wh when you say that the goalposts are going to be shifted, the narratives will be changed and we're going to get different explanations for things that were said emphatically in opposition and at the beginning of the tenure, I somebody would want to take that with a pinch of salt. What do you say to that? Well, um, I have said it on another platform that I think the NPP has lost touch with reality. Really? And they still are living in 2016. Mm. I think if they moved a bit from 2016, they would have perhaps, you know, gotten in touch with the reality that the people of Ghana are living today. Mm. And perhaps they would have seen themselves the way the people see them. Jokers. Look, the 2016 are you election... you not being sarcastic? No, the 2016 election was between performance and hope. Hmm.
performance and right. hope. So it made a lot of sense for people to go for hope. Okay, so NDC was uh, broadcasting performance. Exactly. And the NPP were selling hope. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So, for example, on the fight against corruption, mm -hmm. it was reasonable if Ghana was performing between 46 and 43 percent on the Transparency International Watch mm -hmm. for somebody to go for a man and his running mate mm -hmm. who were promising to make that better. Mm. They were selling hope to ensure that Ghana performs better mm. on that watch. Unfortunately, the 2020, we are in 2020, and the records show that the promise to make it better has resulted in even a worse performance instead. Again, but unfortunately, they don't seem to realize that people can now compare the performance against performance. Again, if you are talking about the Ministry of Special Initiatives, remember the Ministry of Special Initiatives was supposed to make good the promise okay. that no village and community in Ghana will have water or toilet, toilet problem problems right. in the first two years mm. of this administration. Today, the people, and, and it, was, it was reasonable mm. for somebody who had that problem in his community, mm. even in his village if he didn't live there, to give the benefit of the doubt to one who was promising mm. to make sure that that problem didn't exist. Okay. So, but it's four years. Mm. And if the person still sees those problems in the community, what other language are you going to tell the person? Are you going to tell the person that you procured ambulances mm. instead of solving mm. the water and toilet problem at 133,000? It's, 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 not, it's, not, it's not about the ambulances, but the cost of the ambulances. Was well, a step you, to the solution. I, I'm saying, are you going to tell the people that, oh, sorry, we couldn't do the toilets mm. because we procured ambulances at $133,000? You, you done the, the figures? Please, $133,000. Go, 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 go and check the prices of ambulances from the same company that they purchase, they purchase these ambulances from, you know, on their uh, uh, website. What did and you others. find? 100, something less than 70,000. Wow. In fact, something less than 70,000 US dollars. And like, it's, some it's are the same spec like dollars. what we have here. Some are, some are even 55,000 dollars. Is it the same spec? I'm telling you, the Mercedes Springer, you know, and, and yet you buy it at $133,000. You, 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 you purport to, to create a website that will cost eight hundred thousand dollars. Is that what you are going to talk about? Okay. The special initiative. Hold on. Wait, well, we'll be I done. thought I will. Uh, well, no, no. I'm, I'm, because I'm, you raised some other areas, well, like like let, the job. Let's come out join the us. So you, you, let's come out join us. So we will okay. get in there. But you can always join us with your thoughts and comments on uh, WhatsApp platform zero two zero two one six 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 three three. We're finding Kamala Chair uh, to to join us shortly. Zero two zero two one six 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 three three. You can also join us on uh, our social platforms at TV3 Ghana and on Facebook at TV3 Ghana, on Twitter as well, uh, news on TV3. It's important that you do uh, join us. We're big on your comments and we'll gladly share your thoughts and comments with the rest of the wonderful world. As announced earlier, the Vice President of the Republic, together with his team, will be uh, spearheading a, a, a town hall meeting in the Ashanti region to tell you what the as aspirations and the achievements of the uh, the MPP government, since they've been in power in 2017, um, have achieved over the period. Kamal Din Abdullah is uh, a member of the, is a Deputy National uh, Communications Director of the NPP. He is also uh, hoping to grab the Nanton seat up there in the north. Kamal, welcome. Assalam. Wa well, alaikum How are you doing? He's yes, sir. How a great man. Great. Apologies to viewers, apologies to yourself, mm -hmm. apologies to my brother. Okay. If he so cares, mm. um, <laughs> uh, he says he doesn't care. Is he rejecting your greetings? If he so cares um, for for being late. Okay. Um, um, I, I I think I was caught up with some situation that of course couldn't help me mm. and couldn't help matters. So apparently, I, I the, the, the blame should be entirely mine. Okay. For being late. So you need wrap up for me. Let me give you a minute and a half so you can wrap up on on what you are airborne and then Kamal can come in. Yes, I mean, you spoke, for example, about um, increasing the number of nurses right. and uh, Doctors, health workers and, health and all workers that. And, lab cool. and, and, and I put it to you, and I'm sure the very good people of Ghana are aware that they could have even increased it much more than they have increased it if they didn't even abandon the hospitals 
and the clinics mm. that they came to mm. meet. They could have increased it further. And those that they have recruited, and uh, unfortunately on their part, mm. are not working in hospitals or clinics that have either been built or expanded by this administration. Mm -hmm. So it tells you the wisdom in John Dramani Mohammed's assurance to the people of Ghana at the time, mm -hmm. that the infrastructure he was putting up, you know, mm -hmm. was in the long time meant to create jobs for, you know, the people. Okay. So if you employ the nurses and they are not working in NPP headquarters, mm -hmm. or they are not working in your homes, mm -hmm. but they are working in the infrastructure that President Mahama expanded, okay. and in some cases constructed, mm -hmm. it tells you the long sight, the mm -hmm. vision that, you know, was driving uh, uh, his presidency. So it's okay for them to claim to have created those jobs, but I'm sure the people know who has made it possible okay. for them to be employed. And I'm saying that many more of their uh, colleagues could have been employed mm -hmm. if the government of today had not abandoned the other health facilities okay. that they came uh, so to meet. So you're saying NAPCO, they could have done for better example, yes, NAPCO, your, your NAPCO for well. example, was not promised in the NPP's manifesto. It's okay. a stopgap measure that they came up with how, just how to so? deceive. It's a stopgap measure. To create employment. They have now your, I am saying your that, complaining. I am saying that I am saying that NAPCO was not anticipated as one of the schemes that they will use to create uh, jobs mm -hmm. because that in itself is an extended national service scheme okay. which we already had in existence mm -hmm. under the national service secretariat so if you have hived it off from the national service secretariat to create a bureaucracy that you know sucks more funds just to ensure that people stay longer doing national mm -hmm. service you wonder how the people who if they were uh, 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 created permanent jobs mm -hmm. would have been earning twice you how much count they are it getting. As, permanent, uh, as an achievement. It's not. It's it's it's. That's what I'm telling you. It's, it's about what was promised and what was what, what is, is what being is delivered. delivered. Let's be let's be honest. Anybody mm -hmm. can tell you, uh, 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 Johnny, that tomorrow uh, uh, he will get you some maybe let's say a Gucci sunglasses. Mm -hmm. You know, tomorrow if he comes to get you some you know, glass with wares, which is not a Gucci, and he tells you that I promise to give you glasses and I've given you glasses. I don't know. I don't think that you are going to say that is a promise fulfilled. It's okay. the same with the free SHS. I, I like the Gucci glasses, by the way. So <laughs> if you want to give me one, I'll be happy to take it. Come on. Suhini so says, look, this whole uh, thing we're going to do, the results fair, the Ashanti region, uh, is equal to another talk shop, is Jokula, and that's looking at what you promised and what has been achieved, you shouldn't even be putting together a platform like this to be touting these things because y your credentials, for example, in the area of corruption, in the area of job creation, and many other fields, are not anything to make noise about. What do you say? Once again, good morning to you, good morning to him, and good morning to our viewers out there. Good morning to the good people of Namtong constituency. I want to say very good morning to you, especially my chairman in the Zor Enclave, the Zor Zone. Chairman, good morning to you. Um, Johnny, it's interesting how the NDC see themselves as an alternative. In fact, a better alternative to Ghanaians. When in fact... We know them. How? How do you know Why? Well, we have seen them before. They rule this country mm. so many years than any other political party. Their tradition mm. has ruled this country lots of years. Close to 27 years, if I'm not wrong. Okay? We've seen them before. It's not as if they're new. What they're presenting is no hope. What they're presenting is going to be what we call a bleak future. That's what we know. He says that they right. presented I am, no, accomplishments, no, no. I am, I am, presented am, hope, and now the hope seems diminished. I will tell you the hope we presented mm. and we promised and the hope we are delivering, as it were, mm. three years down the line. Let's and we have one, delivered. One, one by one. I'll take it one after the other. Mm. Don't worry. I listened to him briefly when I got in. Okay. He was on the ambulances and he pulled it. It's not about ambulances. He's gone to some website and realized the price is even inflated. Is it correct? <laughs> you see, when you, you can, you can, you see, that's why I said we've seen them before. They've been in government before. Mm -hmm. It's not like they're coming, in, they are now coming into government. Mm -hmm. So we know the people coming. So when he talks about corruption, when I take corruption, for instance, and he talks about corruption, 
crass corruption was seen under their watch. To the extent that the founder of the NDC, His Excellency Jerry John Rawlings, had cause to lash at them always, his own party. Mm -hmm. That look, you, you, you smell corruption. You move and everybody sees corruption stinking. Everywhere. Point is, to the extent that he had to describe appointees of John Dramani Mahama, now candidate Mahama for NDC, former president of the Republic of Ghana, mm. appointees of him, okay, were described, if you like, in quotes as thieves. But the Integrity International, CDD's rating of them are, are in the area of corruption is lower than what you've been giving. Well, you see, you see, you CDD see, says, you for see, example, we've lost over nine million. It doesn't take away the. You. It doesn't take away the fact that these perceptions also existed when they were there. And I'm telling you, all that I'm saying and I'm mentioning now mm. are statements of facts, are facts that we have seen, we have heard people talk about. The results. Now, now, are, now, now, the, the results now, of the research now, is now, also factual. Now, 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 you see, corruption. We all agree is a canker, mm. is a problem. It's a huge problem. I've said it time with that number that no political party prepares for an election in this country, comes out with a manifesto, mm. and has nothing to talk about corruption or to say about is corruption. Is it more pronounced than the DPP? I disagree. I disagree. No, I'm asking. I'm not saying. I completely disagree. It's not, um, it's not more pronounced. Mm. That, is, that is whoever wants to say they're fine. But you see, we can, we, can, we can look at it and juxtapose same. To what happened the last time okay we have serious corruption why not too long ago you heard what happened in the airbus matter mm -hmm. why you forgotten soon jida you forgotten isophoton mm -hmm. you forgotten you forgotten uh, 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 you, you forgotten you, you forgotten about um uh, what was the name um uh, <laughs> He's been mentioned bars branding have you forgotten about bars branding He's been mentioning wait a minute you forgot tricycles. about bars, bars branding He's been mentioning not, excavators, tricycles. I can go on and on Galancé. and on. But you see, this, the, the, the discourse this morning mm. doesn't entirely hinge on corruption, I guess. It's talk about the results fair. The town hall meeting to be held in Kumasi, mm. where the vice president of the Republic of Ghana is going to come out, mm. tell Ghanaians the results so far, what we have done so far. Mm. And in fact, we have something to say, okay. something to put on the table. He himself even helped us by mentioning some of them, except for him to say, look, we are ungrateful. We will not accept it. We poo-poo it. Ambulances is nothing. It's not just about ambulances. In the center region, I was reading a report yesterday. Since the arrival of the ambulances, mm -hmm. some 23 lives have been saved by same ambulances. That one is nothing. Because I want to win an election. It's nothing. Mm -hmm. It's a national asset. I expect the Honorable Member of Parliament for Tamale North to tell me, look, yes, this is a, a good idea. We had done ours. They've come to improve on it. But you don't poo-poo it. To the extent that you go to some website, which we don't know, come and tell me it's $55,000 and that the actual price is even inflated. Do you doubt the figures they are oh, quoting? My, my brother, why, why, you don't, why, 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 where we know in this country, mm -hmm. when they came out and said they had gone to a website to look at the prices of Dau buses, mm -hmm. and it was $75,000. And that what we had procured was way in excess. Forgetting that they themselves, mm. they went and bought Chinese buses way ahead of how much they were even talking about. And grounded those buses for AMMT, Metro TV, they, uh, Metro Mass. Metro Mass. We're, here, we're here. They themselves had bought buses more than that. So you see, it is their stock in trade. That's how the NDC are. They will go and sit down, get sit on some computer, come out with some figures, and then work with it. Because they want to what? Get Ghanaians who went into voting for them. He they says, want to get Ghanaians believing in you, their You cause. could have employed Look, more health officials or professionals if you had activated the hospitals why? that they built. He has forgotten again. No. Tell Those me. chips compound that he contributed. I don't know whether he was an appointee. I hear appointees of government then contribute 10% of their salary right. to build chips compound. Right. Didn't they know they needed nurses? Didn't they know? Were they building those chips compound with a great of respect mm -hmm. for, uh, you know, for monkeys to go and work in there or what? But the chip comes no, with the of respect. I am only asking you that look, we had people. Mm -hmm. There's a backlog when you go to the Ministry of Health. Backlog as from 2013, 2014, 2015. Mm -hmm. Nurses were not posted. And this is a fact. Mm -hmm. Check it. Then the person comes, he's engaged as many as he can, and still undoing. You will not you are not appreciative. 
you sit down and say, oh no, you should have even added more because we have built other hospitals in addition. The, the nurses complain it, on our WhatsApp if we activate you. See, what? They complain. They say they are being home. They are tired of staying uh, at home. It's a, that's why I told you there's a, there has been a backlog. Okay. That's the cause. When they had the opportunity, they looked us in the face and forgot about us and they were busy enjoying. Enjoying what? Why? Enjoying their booty, whatever. Oh, there's a booty but if you, are not, if you are not enjoying booty, won't you work? You will be working. There's a you will be working there's, there's to get people in government. Move. Well, uh, what? That, he said we, we are also enjoying equally. Okay. He said we are coming. Are you enjoying? I'm not. I'm only, we are working. Okay. So now, now, now I've mentioned, he's, he said NAPCO is nothing. NAPCO mm -hmm. is an, kind of an upgrade to national service. He said it's an extension. Look, it's of an innovation. Service. I remember when MPP came to power 2001, when President Kufo was sworn in. Mm -hmm. Running from 2001, 2002, 2003, running there about, mm -hmm. we had what we call mass registration of unemployed youth in this country. Mm -hmm. As a result, we got a clear data and said, look, let's focus. Let's be innovative. Even though we didn't promise NYEP in our manifesto then, we came out and instituted what we call NYEP, National Youth Employment Program. And as a result, the young men in this country were completely engaged and well engaged. You came and metamorphosed it from NYEP to JIDA where you had sat down and then dipped your hands and enjoyed money. Okay? Mm. Today it has become YEA. Under your watch. Because we, have, we are innovative to think about the youth of this country and got them a job. Again, we have said that there are young graduates prior to we coming into this system. Mm. The graduates were, had formed an association called a graduate association, uh, Unemployed Graduate Association of Ghana. Mm. Under your watch. Then Nanado comes to say no. Under my what I am not going to pretend over some unemployed graduate. Some people have said Let me be MPP innovative. fanatics. What? They are MPP fanatics who oh. formed that association. Oh, is it is is it is it true? Is it, is it, is it, let's let's just give them some respect. Is it true? No, I'm saying let's respect the young men is in this it country. True? It's not true. Okay. Let's get respect them. Okay. Okay. The young men, the young men were not working. Mm. This young man, the president has come, he's been innovative, he thinks out of the box. So they he all says, have jobs now. No, excuse me. At least there has oh, been, God, there has been, at least, at least we have, a, we have taken a step. Okay. If they were 10 and we've engaged two, it's a plus to Ghana. Does that disengage, if they were 10, does that disengage or dismantle the association? Uh, why? An association, but it's not there. An association of unemployed graduates uh -huh. and you employ some of them. Does that Even if it doesn't dismantle, to the best of my knowledge, I know it doesn't exist now, but even if it doesn't dismantle, there's some hope given to them. Okay. We have given us some glimmer of hope. Okay. At least some of them have had jobs. He okay. says NAPCO is nothing. Mm -hmm. I am saying we are innovative. Just as we're innovative when we brought NYEP, and then later on they use it as a conduit to make money. Now we are innovative to bring NAPCO again for young graduates to be engaged and then giving training so they prepare them for job future to move on. You said it's nothing. Now sit here, the big one. Results fair. Me, I will mention it wherever I go. What are we Education is key. Hmm. Education is key. Okay. And as we sit today, maybe my younger sister, maybe his younger sister, maybe his brother, or whatever, or, or our cousin, nephew, is enjoying this free SHS that has come. And hmm. it's something that we need to long, I mean, commend the president and commend his government for. Hmm. Today we sit here, go out there in the north. I'm happy my brother is from the north and I'm from the north. We are full of peasant farmers. If I'm not mistaken, over 80% of our populace there hmm. are peasant farmers. Hmm. Today, as a result of the planting for food and jobs, look at the way fertilizer was made available to them. Go and check. The fertilizers. Look, look at the bumper the, harvest the, we've got. The, the farmers say as the fertilizers found their way into every coast. Oh, no. You see, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see. Is that true? Right. To not, too, not too long ago, I saw it. I even posted your report mm. on my, my wall on Facebook. When you had cause to report about GLAT. Because glad. of bumper harvest, mm. there's rice glut from the north, from from BC running to Nasia. Mm. This is under the watch of Nana Adudan. So, somebody says it's it was not because just Avinash didn't buy the rice this year. Oh, you see, last year. You see, you see, Akin with us, close to us today. I was driving past the streets of um, Pukwase. Mm. Then I saw young men with Ghana rice, rice selling on the streets. Then I said, wow. This is a mark of good governance. Mm. This is a mark of living well. This is a mark of a better Ghana given to us. Hitherto, you would not have found that. Someone was not innovative enough. When you talk, they say, oh, it is their idea. But you came and changed the name. What idea? Is it true what, uh, that you've been what changing is true? names of ideas? When we're hungry then, what was true? Today, there's food. Even the food is in abundance. We, not a single grain has been imported. We sit here. Okay. Then someone says, I say we've done nothing. Okay. Put that one aside. My good brother, there one, is a one minute, for us to talk about. Look at, the, look, look at the way we have put in infrastructure.
in the education sector today mm. under the watch of napo i want to thank him wherever he is this morning he's yes. superintendent over a great job he's done what what did he say <laughs> let's let's oh, what did he say? come out go on no you see he's come done on, a great job mm. and i'm saying and i'm saying that under him look at the way we have provided infrastructure we have provided if you like furniture we have provided a lot for the education sector. The children as are still minister. sleeping out there. Oh, they, brother, don't have a, brother, they don't have it all. It's a going concern. Okay. I am only telling you that in three years, we have done more than we can. Okay. Look at the, 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 the northern part. Iron ore deposits. The president sat down and said, no, that will not go waste. It's a natural resource belongs to us. The northern part must see a growth. After making sure that he intervened for us to get a yana properly called yana today. He says, Yana, your resources sitting there should be tapped into. As we speak today, the Iron and Steel Corporation has been instituted by the Let's president. talk about job losses. Well, let me give you one this minute to talk about jo about. job losses. Now, job losses. Job losses, and then we'll bring him in for a I don't know what I don't know what the term as job losses. The we have done the banking a lot of sector, of job, job really, losses. That's why I want to go. I know that's right. not the only side. Mm. They will tell you the banking, the cleanup. Look, it is only a reckless and irresponsible government mm. that will sit down and watch a trend that is going to collapse its economy and then, of course, say, I throw my hands in despair. I don't care about it. We are not a reckless and irresponsible government. We will not sit down and allow anyone to just walk into Bank of Ghana mm -hmm. and say, I have this paper. I want to open a bank. Go ahead and then have a bank. We won't do that. Mm. We will not jeopardize the lives of the depositors, many depositors, who have their monies in the banks, okay? Because we think that we should allow people to work when, in fact, at the end of the day, the right thing ought to be done. We cleaning the financial sector mm. was because of their mess. Was because they superintended over a mess was because they sat down and didn't care about ghana okay then we have done it today you come out again and go around and say we have created job losses in the, the system the, the funds that were what saved, talking about the funds that were saved the owners of the funds are saying release our funds to us uh, because you have saved us our monies we are happy but we are not getting our monies what do you say to them i had i had the finance minister in fact even before we came you remember the dkm saga mm. okay we came to salvage the situation the people of Bron bono region today in fact and some part of even bono east Okay, suffered it mm. under their watch. They recklessly sat down, what people, and then the money were taken off, and deposit were crying. Some even had to hang themselves, kill themselves, as it were. This is what happened under the watch of John Dramani Mahama. We came and solved that problem, it's and we there was a bigger thing happened one. Under Wait a minute, gold as well, there was a say. oh man, you see, there was a bigger one coming. Men's gold of us started under them 2015, okay. 2016 mm. again. Which bigger the, one was coming? The, the banking sector. Okay. We needed to save millions of lives if we hadn't gone into cleaning the sector mm -hmm. and making sure that we put measures in place for people to get their money. It's mm -hmm. better to delay in getting your money than to say that you don't even have hope in getting Thank it you. at all. So, Ini, no. take, take a two-minute rebuttal and then he will also get uh, two minutes. Sometimes it's very painful and difficult listening to the propaganda of the NPP. What is painful about it? you know the reality and you live the reality. Mm -hmm. Um, I honestly didn't get the logic on the chips compound thing, mm. uh, except to say that he uh, perhaps may have slipped to highlight the fact that this was a bunch of people mm. who were willing to sacrifice part of their salary mm. to contribute to the infrastructure of this country uh, through the construction of chips compounds, mm. which I'm sure you know, was meant to serve the health needs of the people. Right. Apart from that, I didn't get the logic when he uh, made reference I, I, to I that. I think his logic, Kamal's logic, and if I got it right, was that, uh, yes, you took part of your salary to build the chip compounds, which means that you, were you hoping for, for nurses and health professionals to, to work, work there? there. Exactly. So why didn't you engage yeah, them? Oh, but but we were constructing it. Okay. So the ones that you completed, why didn't no, you engage no. the nurses? The, it, when they took <laughs> over, we handed over to them, and perhaps that is why they have recruited nurses to go there. Okay. Okay. That's why I didn't meaning. get their logic. Okay, okay. <laughs> because you see, you should, the logic will be that you should be thanking those who decided to take part of their salary to okay. construct this, so mm -hmm. that you can put the nurses there. We couldn't have employed the nurses when we didn't have a place for them okay. to work in. So I'm surprised that he made reference to that. Then. He talks about the ambulances. That's mm -hmm. why I say it's difficult to, to, to listen to the MPP's propaganda. Mm -hmm. At what point did I say it wasn't important? I only said that, are you going to explain to the people that you couldn't make water and toilet you know, mm -hmm. problems, a thing of the past in our communities, because you exorbitantly paid for ambulances 
at a whopping $133,000 per one when you could have got it for less? I didn't say ambulances are not important. In fact, because ambulances are that important mm -hmm. to the health delivery sector, but not the most important, the MDC government mm -hmm. provided ambulances without the fanfare that is greeting the provision of they, ambulances. They called it that. empty buses. In fact, in fact, no, I mean, yes, some of them, some of the ambulances had problems, but the ambulance service was not without ambulance until these <laughs> ambulances came. They had ambulances in our district. In fact, it was the NDC. In fact, it was the NDC government that extended the ambulance service to cover the whole country. Mm -hmm. That extended it to cover the whole country. Created stations in almost every region. It was the NDC. And, and the King but Council you see, the most important to us was to make sure that health facilities were accessible and close to the people and equipped. And that is why you had the Tamale Teaching Hospitals, you had the Upper East Regional Hospital, you had the War Hospitals, you had all the hospitals that you see in Greater Accra, mm -hmm. Dodoa, you name them. That was more important to us, even though ambulances were also important and they were provided without fanfare. Finally. Then he talks about NAPCO, mm -hmm. and then he sets his own propaganda again and says, I say NAPCO is nothing. Nowhere in my submission did I say NAPCO is nothing. What I said it was an that innovation. It's, a, it's, it's an extended national service, mm. no, which, which was still under the National Service Secretary, or could have even been under the National Youth Employment Authority. Mm. But the creation of a bureaucracy, needless bureaucracy, that is also sucking money from, from the state, in my view, is what I criticize. And not to say that, now, and again to say, this, this is not what was promised. And I gave you the analogy of promising you a Gucci glass and giving you something that covers your eyes and telling you I have fulfilled, uh, you know, my promise. What we have, really, and he has put it well, that they have done more than they can. And so that is their best they have done. <laughs> they have done more than they can. In fact, so they have even surprised themselves Inter with the very shambolic that performance. That is his interpretation. No, that's what he said. That we yeah, have done but, more but than Kamal, you those can. Were so, 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 so it tells you that you this shambolic, shambolic performance has even surprised them. Mm -hmm. They are surprised that they have even been able to do this, 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 this worse. Kamal says if we hadn't and, and, saved and, the banking sector and, crisis, and, and it, would have, it would have hit us so look, hard. Look, in the DKM matter, for mm -hmm. example, they lied to the people of BA that the DKM matter was, as a result, was owned by President Mahama and their wife. Today, they have not done anything about it because it was a complete lie. There were 77 mm -hmm. microfinance Wait a minute. I'm saying it, they, said it was, it, they, they said it was President Mahama and their wife that created it and that it was their scheme. Mm -hmm. It's a complete lie. And that is why they can't prove it. And it is us. It's, 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 these are some of the reasons why, you know, sometimes it's difficult listening the, the to their propaganda. They promise to pay and, and they say they have Look, paid the monies. The financial for, for sector DKM. crisis, that's why I say again that mm. it's painful listening to them when you know how you feel. Mm. There are mm. many people whose businesses, they may not even be bankers, whose businesses depended on the micro uh, loan, mm. uh, the microfinance institutions on the banks, right. that are suffering today. As a result, they are laying off workers. So when they hear them talk the way they talk, mm. it is painful to them. There are people who have lost their jobs oh. and who know that it is not, it is not, it is not their fault that you know the 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 the, the, the clean up had to happen okay. and they also know oh, that there are the, 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 there are different ways mm. that could have been used to handle this okay. this this this, this Sweeney, problem I thank That's, you and i mean one of the ways mm. was what the ndc started before we lost power Which is but for lack of time i mean the ndc did the research mm. it is not as if you don't go to the the doctor like he gave the example and i'll give a, a similar one when you go to the hospital and tell you the doctor that you have headache the doctor doesn't just give you something that will kill you. The doctor will first examine why you have the headache. The NDC started that examination. That look, our banking sector, our financial institutions had a problem. So a research was conducted into the banking sector. And it is that same report that we compiled, that they took, but apply the wrong medication. Oh my God. Okay, thank you. <laughs> apply the wrong medication. Uh, come out, was, come out, Stan, and then Bella will read a few messages. Now, Step in for me. Okay, uh, that yes. is what you, it is. No. So I need to you, come in before yes, Bella. You apply the wrong, wrong medication. That, that's that's fine. Fine. Come out, come out. Come out. The DKM matter. Yes. You promised to pay the depositors yes. their funds. Have you done we that? We have done that, 100%. And you can first check. I want you to go and run a report. That's not true. 100%. DKM Every you tell me NAPCO, NAPCO was people paid. too, they have now, paid now, them now, 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 now,
Well, the uh, Napco uh, Johnny, 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 Johnny. If I am to catalog our good deeds, mm. if I am to catalog the kind of good governance that Nanado has turned out, we will take the whole day and will not end. Because there's a lot. Every sector has been touched. <laughs> well, just on my way here, the energy sector, for instance, mm. the BDC's backlog. Mm -hmm. Ask, look, Senor, Senor Jose and Co., how much money the government of John Dramani Mahama mm -hmm. or the NBC administration mm -hmm. left behind as debts owed to BDCs in this country. Today, Senor Jose and Co. Have, have, are full of praise okay, for this government because we think that every sector should be touched. They have been cleared. Is it is it true that you, you are using a report no, no, conducted no, by, I'm, I'm by, the, by the NDC? You see, I told you the, banking the sector cleanliness cleaner. of the financial sector was as a result of the mess they created. And he has just corroborated it. Oh. That they had sat down, they saw the problem, and they did a report. And now having done the they report... They were investigating, that's minute, what he says. Minute, I'm like saying that. Test, ah, why? They came in 2009, left in 2016. He, he says in his own words. So 2000 now oh, we oh, had please, a problem. Please, 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 please. I was very quiet. Listen to me. No, but your problem Listen to me. Allow, oh, allow please. Allow me. Allow me. Please allow me. Allow me. Allow me. Allow me. So the allow point me. I'm making is that they superintended over this economy from 2009 to 2016. Okay. And I'm saying that in the course of that, okay, we have had cause to complain uh, at what about point a did wobbling did the sector start? in the financial sector. At what point did the problem start? Now, at what point did it start? Yeah. What? By, by what you, I mean, you have taken what, a what definite decision. Know, what I do know for a fact is that the NDC administration superintendent over this rot in the financial sector. Okay. And he has just, he he has just collaborated that. He has just That's collaborated that. He has just say, collaborated so. that by saying that <laughs> they have seen it he and they did a report and made a prescription and so we came and they had a wrong approach. Meanwhile, the same people now will then turn around and say that we have come to cause job losses in that sector. Knowing that you superintendent over this rot a mess. <laughs> we sit down and watch you. I mean, you see, Ghanaians are actually not discerning. It's not about what we politicians say. It's about what we do. The good people of Tamale, who are going to enjoy a very wonderful interchange that the construction is on, mm -hmm. even when they were recklessly burning ties on the streets in the name of burning their cholesterol, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> Walking around on the street, they saw the construction of uh, if you like, come uh, on. So, the, so, in, so in this we're talking about the interchange about the promise on. of water and, the good and toilets not being a problem under the MPP. Have you fulfilled that promise? You see, you see, you see, you see. We have done a lot. Have you fulfilled that we, promise? Why? If we have not, we've not attained hundred percent. What percentage? We've not have attained hundred percent. What percentage have you done? Uh, we have not attained hundred percent. Dr. Baumia promised. We are working. We years. are working to ensure it that if, if, if I don't even know anything. The Zongo ministry that we created, yet another innovation. Mm. For the first time, you claim the Zongos are your well back. You are not answering my question. Well, wait a minute. I'm just giving you the example on the you toilet thing you have Okay, asked. yes. And I'm saying that if I'm not mistaken, the Zongo ministry that we created, yet another innovation. Find out from the Zongo minister what is happening today. Inner cities like Choco I and other areas. From the Zongos go to the, the Zongos themselves. Go and see <laughs> the toilet project that we're doing but, for but households. But the toilet at half price started at the point. But we, but we you didn't are, know that. But, but you just toilet asked me whether we're price. doing something. And I'm citing okay. an example for you. Okay. I'm telling you That's what we're doing. Zongo. So for me okay. to learn. Me, me, I've, to been, learn. I've been on Community Connect for all these years. Since 2014. So I know that the toilet at half price started. You need to learn. It's not as if the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana going to Kumasi this morning. Where I'll be moving to after this show. Oh, you're going okay. to Kumasi. Inshallah. Oh, you're a big man. I'm not a big man. I'm a small <laughs> man. I'll be moving there. Where I'll be moving to? He's has a nothing to say. He's one of the he has a leaders. lot to say. He has a lot okay. to say. Let, let Bella come. Bella, Bella has a lot to tell us. Yeah, Bella, welcome. Well, Bella, thank welcome you so back. Much. Um, we're starting <laughs> off with some some of, uh, big words here. So, okay, William. There's a big word. Look, yeah, there's a big word. Yeah, let's listen to There's a whole line with yeah. a lot of words. Let's read that. William from Koforidia says It's blindingly obvious that the MPP has lost touch with reality. The unmitigated deprivation that the MPP government has foisted on Ghanaians is axiomatic well, right. for all to see. The trapping of political power has desensitized the likes of Kamal against the plight of Ghanaians. Look how filled up Kamal Dean has become, and I'd rather use that. Pa is very sweet, very Papa. Sweet. <laughs> so this is a special message to you, Kamal. <laughs> 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 From Baba Chairman. 
Baba Chairman and Tamale, once again, the respected VP of Ghana will showcase to Ghanaians that government's level of competence since assuming power, uh, well, it will show to Ghanaians their level of competence since assuming power. Let that NDC keep wallowing in their confusion. Ghanaians have moved on. Good morning to Mr. Kamal Dean in your studios and Honorable Yakubu Yusif, the Tamale South PC and PP. Good okay, morning. good morning, TV3. This is Majid from Tamale. Jison Yali. Johnny. Jison Ayele. Mm. Johnny, how can 500 excavators get missing if MPP is not in to rob Ghanaians? NPP can never again. Uh, NPP never again. My greetings to Honorable <coughs> Member Alaji. Mm. Alasan Suini, okay. we're proud of you. Good morning, TV3. Why is it that when it was the time to set up it's committees to check on the dollar, so Dr. Bamiya was nullified? Now that it was, it's time to do propaganda in Kumasi, uh, he's the first to be called from Prince Jalil Usman, old Tafu Kumasi. Okay. Good morning. Please tell Kamal Dean to stop peddling on truth about the posting of nurses. This government successfully posted only two batches of nurses, and that is the 2015 and the 2016 year groups. Even the 2015 year group was given financial clearance by the NDC. They should post the nurses and stop the corruption. That's Daniel from Tamale. Good morning, Johnny. Please tell uh, Kamal Dean to keep quiet if he has nothing to say. What infrastructure is he talking about uh, that Napo has provided? If he knows how people are really mad at Napo for his reckless utterances, he wouldn't even mention his name this morning. Johnny, good work. Felix from Akosombo. Alaji Hamsa Pig Farm says, I'm sad and my heart bleeds for this nation. Listening to my brother, um, Alaji Kamal Dean, this morning. If my brother cares to know, Ghana today has become a laughing stock in the eyes of the international committee, uh, community, pardon me, when it comes to corruption. Corruption today is fighting this government and not the other way around. Indeed, talk is cheap. Until the government begins to fire and prosecute DCs and MMDCs of these Galamse communities, we'll continue to wallow in a pool of hallucination in the fight of this kanka. Uh, that's Abdul Mumin Wunam from Tamale. Good morning to you, Johnny, and your cherished viewers. I think the MPP has done something, but they shouldn't forget that the saying, to whom much is given, much is expected. The president failed the unemployed 2017 year group uh, nurses all round, Alawa and postings. Okay. Good morning, TV3. I wonder if the yeah, MPP so are not ashamed of themselves and want to do a town hall meeting. Now, what achievements have they um, had? Is it the exchange rates from that from 3.7 to 5.8, or the grabbing of Galamse concessions, or the seas excavators that have uh, that they've shared amongst themselves, or the tricycles that have been shared to their macho men, or the MRE deal, PDS deal, and many more? I dare the MPP that they've been in power for three years and haven't yeah, been able to arrest even that. one of the JDM appointees that they <laughs> always talk about. Propaganda, uh, propaganda to Ghanaians, uh, talk is cheap. Their sentiment are waiting, um, trying to understand this. But Nana Ahmed Sefi is Sam, uh, are waiting his lies. Uh, okay. Okay, so I think it's the job fair, the, the results fair. Okay. So he says Ashanti so, is waiting to hear what Dr. Balbiya will say. Okay, 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 yeah, okay. Exit. So they can show him the exit in 2020. Yeah. Okay, I guess now. Good morning, Johnny and TV3. Please tell Kamal Dean and the NPP to stop disturbing us with their numerous town hall meetings. If the NPP think they've done well, Ghanaians will decide at the polls very soon whether they should get four more or not. We can see and feel the hardship. Eddie from Ashaman. Good morning. If the VIP is going to talk about his their achievement, then he should as well talk about their failures. Truth is priceless. DYK. Uh, good morning. This is the final one, Johnny. Please ask Mr. Kamal if he claimed the NPP is doing better. Is it the corruption scandal um, that shows that they are doing better? However, he should ask the NYA officials what happened to the youth who used their time and energy to undergo mobile app development. Where is the mission tricycles and procurement of ambulances to carry patients unhealthy? Okay. Yeah, you're asking about the, the ambulances, but they have been... Um, you know, given out to the yeah. community. So yeah. if the president wants to win this fight against Galamse, then he should sack the team involved. Now, I believe that our leaders are doing more harm to the ordinary Ghanaians. To retrieve 500 excavators now. Okay, we, we are la Boli, Upper West Region. Okay, thank you very much, Bella. Um, mm. I'm sure we'll see you again. We're discussing this a man later, but uh, somebody, Patrick from Kolebu, sent a message to me. He says, good morning, Johnny. Please tell Kamal that my DKM and Goddess Love deposits have still not been refunded. I wonder what has been I'm done to cure that aspect of it. Patrick <laughs> is in Kolebu. He sent this to me, <laughs> and he says that his money, his money is being kept in there. 
Tony, how, how but, but I want to tell you. So, so again, are, you, are you able to do validation to find out whether what he say is oh, true? Oh, but Patrick is no, my but friend. I'm but saying that that Patrick is my friend. Is anyone oh, okay. who suffered under this DKM yeah, have propaganda. been paid? I tell you, so you say my friend. You say my friend. My friend. Well, 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 well. Your friend. Maybe, maybe your friend had traveled one day. He traveled. Come on, Dean Abdullahi is a deputy national communications director of the NPP. He's also, uh, <laughs> he has his eyes on the <laughs> Nanton seat. He's picked his forms. Hopefully, he'll go through the uh, vetting the forms, and then uh, the primaries on the 25th of April. And yes. also, Alaji um, Suhini is uh, the member of parliament for the Tamale North constituency. And he's in the race one more time. Hopefully, he says he will win it again.